morning, my friends. Welcome to the vlog. Hey, we're here getting unloaded in Calgary, Alberta. Beautiful, beautiful Alberta. They're building a Costco here. You guys like Costco? I like Costco. If you shop at Costco and you ever shop at the new one that's being built in Southwest Calgary, thank a trucker. Me and a bunch of other guys delivered the steel to build this building. That's pretty cool. Costco is one of my favorite places to shop at. Man, you can get like a whole, a whole pallet of dog food if you wanted to. We did that once, remember? Remember? That was fun. Oh, so I'm just sitting around here waiting. My straps are all off the load already and I'm just uh, waiting for them to unload me here. They took in one guy before me. He got in just before me. It's frustrating because I was first. But he cut in front of me. That's okay. He's a really nice guy. I talked to him. He's a, a new driver. So, judging by his accent, he is of the Mennonite background, just like me. But hey, I don't want to judge. Maybe some other people talk like that too. I don't think I really have a Mennonite accent. I don't know. You guys keep telling me I have an accent, but that's wrong. You're wrong. Wrong. You have an accent. I talk perfectly normal. This is the perfect Queen's English. Right? <laughs> Apparently, that's what... The, 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 the most proper way of speaking English is the Queen's English, whatever that is. I guess the English that the Queen speaks. Which would make sense because she's the Queen of England. I guess so. I'm talking about nothing here already. I'm bored, can you tell? Bored, bored, bored. Just sitting here. Oh, ooh, a boom truck's coming. Are you coming for me? You coming for me? Look, 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 look. There he comes, there he comes. You see him? You see him? He's coming. He's coming. You coming for me? Come on. Come on, big money. Big money, come here. Come here. Come tell me to follow you. Or is he just going to drive past me like all the other boom trucks so far? No, he's, he's coming for me. Yeah. All right. Okay, I can't see him from here. I guess I'll see him when I get around there, right? Eh? Yeah, yeah. You're you gonna follow me, and you're gonna need to back up after. Okay. In front of the, the metal okay. Sounds good. That guy is from Quebec. All right, here we go. We gotta go down this big bump here. Oh. Yikes, okay. I didn't take all of my straps off the trailer, just so you know. <laughs> Took some of them off. Should have clarified that before. I left enough on to move it around the yard here. There we go. bunch of boom trucks so this is where it's gonna be fascinating it's amazing how they can build these massive buildings you know hundreds and thousands of people we're in here where does he want me okay oh it wants me back over there okay I see I see so I don't want to hit any of these spikes coming out of the ground Okay. That was incredible. That took them literally less than five minutes to unload my entire trailer. And I was definitely right. They're all from Quebec. <laughs> well, that door's not all the way closed. One second. No, dude. There you go. Oh, they had four boom trucks and they Lifted up the entire load. One, two boom trucks on each side of the load. Lifted up the entire load. I just drove out from underneath them. That was it. Less than five minutes. My whole load was on, was done. That was incredible. There goes part of it. They're breaking it apart now. Man, that was hashtag impressive. So yeah, they uh, they bring all these workers in from Quebec. 
I don't know why they wouldn't hire Albertan workers to work in Alberta, but yeah, these guys came all the way from Quebec. Apparently they go all around the country building Costco's. I looked at them like, holy, you're gonna take the whole load off at once? Like, yeah, that's the French way. <laughs> they were funny guys. Okay, now how can I get out of here without running over anybody, running over anything? I'm gonna slowly creep this way. I can't hit any of those spikes popping up there. Okay, missed that. Very, very careful. There we go. Oh yeah, they were straight like hours and three minutes of remaining drive time. Thank you. They were like French of the French. Like they you could tell they were from deep Quebec. Deep Quebec. They didn't even speak English. A lot of them didn't speak English. There's one or two guys there that could understand me half of what I was saying. I kept telling him, you're gonna unload the whole load at once? Why is this peg in the middle of this driveway now? Was that there before? Was that there before? I don't remember that peg being there. Why is that right in the middle of the driveway? I think he just put that there now. There we go, I got past it. Well, that was the adventure for today. These guys down here now are all waiting to unload after me, so I gotta get out of here. Very efficient though, I gotta give them that. Very efficient. Where's this guy going? I wonder if all of these guys are from Quebec then? Like the entire the entire work crew here? Oh, you're gonna stop right in front of me. Okay, yeah, that's a good place to stop. Sure, I'll, I'll wait, no problem, no problem. <laughs> Trigger Josh is getting impatient. That wasn't too bad, okay. Work on your patience, Josh. Patience is a virtue, right? There we go. All these guys waiting. Look how I was saying, they're very efficient. They, they get their work done quick here. Here's another load of steel. Same stuff. Wow, this building's gonna be up before you know it. Yeah, well, if they have the same crew that goes around the country building the same building over and over and over again, it makes sense why they would bring them out here, you know. It's really quick. They know what they're doing. They've probably done it dozens of times. Truck a jack! Why are you at Fountain Tire Truck Josh? You know that used steer tire that I bought? Turned out it was a dud, it was garbage. I'm just trying to back out of here right now, everyone can just drive behind me. It was garbage, it was completely out of round, out of balance, out of everything. And I got charged $650 for a used tire with less than half tread. So I wasn't happy about that, so I made my stink and I'm getting my money back for that tire and in the meantime I bought a brand new tire for $725 $75 more and I got a brand spanking new tire balanced and installed so now we just got to get out of here without hitting anything that guy dropped his trailer over there what am I gonna do I'm gonna just back right onto the road I guess I guess that's what we're gonna do. Come with me for an adventure backwards. Maybe we can turn around here still. I can't see that road. 
I don't really want to back blindly. I can turn around here. Here, I'll take it a little wider here. Here we go. Here we go. So I got a B of Goodrich steer tire put on here on my passenger side. Brand spanking new. I can't believe it was only $75 more than that used tire I bought. So I'm taking that other used tire, I have it on my trailer behind me, I'm taking that back, getting my money back. Alright, You now. have 7 hours and 46 minutes of remaining drive time. I think I want to go right. Karen, why aren't you telling me which way to go? Gotta go to Edmonton. Edmonton's this way, so I'm just gonna turn this way. So I'm gonna watch my bills very carefully because they asked me if I wanted a steer, uh, a used steer tire, right? And I'm like, hey, all right, I trust you, you know. It's a used steer tire? Why not save some money? My truck. Meters. Turn right on. Venture out. Come on, Karen. I'm telling a story. My truck was in the shop anyway, right? I'm like, well, it's in there anyway. Whatever, save some money, get a used steer. I can replace it next summer, right? 200 meters. Turn right on. Venture Avenue. Did not work out. No, it was. Uh, like I said, it only had ha it had less than half tread left. I thought used was like, yeah, it has a few thousand miles on it. <laughs> Maybe a few ten thousand miles. I don't know. But yeah, it, it was almost bald. And uh, I guess whoever had it last, I don't know the car coming now. Whoever had it last must have uh, hit a pothole with it or something, or something anyway. I'm thinking there was probably a reason why they had that used tire lying around, right? Somebody else probably hit a pothole, started complaining that the truck was shaking, right? Karen, let me tell a story. And so they got the tire replaced, left the tire there. They figured, hey, it looks round. Let's resell it, right? I don't know if that's what happened or not. I mean, I don't want to accuse them of that. It's probably not what happened. I know the people and they're good people, so I don't think they would have done that on purpose, but I'm still like, hmm, looking at them all, you know, suspiciously. In 600 meters, turn left on, venture out. So do I think they knowingly gave me a bad tire? No, no. But someone must have known at one point that it was a bad tire and somebody else forgot to meters, label it. Left on, venture out. It was a bit of a frustrating couple of days for me dealing with my truck because my truck was shaking so bad my coffee in my cup holder was spilling all over my dash right and my seatbelt didn't want to unlock while going down the highway you were a noisy woman today Karen man you like to talk ding and everything you like to be noticed you like attention you like the attention don't you that's a truck coming on my left he's got a stop sign too but anyways we got a brand new steer now and it is glorious it is beautiful just in time for winter. Well, don't come too close, buddy. My trailer's got to make it around here. Turn left on Glenmore Trail, Highway 560. I tell you what, Karen. All I'm trying to do is tell a story here, and all you want to do is butt in. This is my show. This isn't the Karen vlog. It's the Truck Josh vlog. I'll throw you out the window. In 800 meters, turn left on Glenmore Trail. Highway 560. Don't think that I won't fight you because you're a woman. I'll fight a woman. I just want to tell a story. In 500 meters, turn left on Glenmore Trail. I don't care what you have to say. Stop complaining. I know where I am. Oh, we're back in the left lane, gang. We are smooth as silk. This is some smooth sailing. Wow. That fixed all my problems, all my anxiety is gone. This tire is balanced and properly round, as a tire should be. I don't like tires that aren't round. I've had way too many of those already in my career. Why do they make so many tires not round? They don't work as good. But like I said, that tire probably hit a pothole on someone else's truck and then they gave it to me. But man, this has solved all the problems. We are just, we're just, I can't even feel the road beneath me. I'm just sort of like just floating over it. Just floating. It's beautiful. I'm going around Calgary right now. 
We have about three, three and a half hours to Edmonton. I wanted to stop at Flying J, but now that I have to go get this new tire, I'm probably not going to get there before it fills up because the Flying J in Edmonton fills up very quickly. They're usually full by like supper, by six or seven. That's beautiful. So we're just at this, at this, whatchamacallit, this petrol pass. Uh, I already got my seatbelt on. I'm not trying to put it on again. Uh, this petrol pass rest area, just north of Airdrie, Alberta, just sort of north of Calgary. This is my paper from the shop. Uh, you know what's sort of a bummer? <sighs> Did I tell you already? My bunk heater stopped working. I don't know if I told you yet or not. I probably told you already. I always forget. It means we gotta idle our truck a lot more. It cost me money. When I buy a new truck one day, like a new new truck or my next truck, I am putting a priority on making sure it has an APU. Now a proper APU, that means auxiliary power unit. It's that separate little motor that runs on the side of the truck, in front of the back axles. I want the one that's going to also power my batteries, warm my engine fluids, and warm and cool my truck. I want those four things. And an APU like that costs about $12,000 Canadian. So, on my next truck maybe. <laughs> So what it does then is you can have the truck off and it'll keep the truck warm for you. And if your batteries get low, it'll turn on and charge up your batteries for you. If it's hot in the summertime, you can turn it on. It'll keep the cab cool. And also if it's a really, really cold night, like up here in Canada, like minus 30, minus 40, minus 50, minus 60. Okay, minus 60K. Anything under minus 30, you should leave your truck running anyways. It's just, you don't want things to sit in that temperature. And especially if you want them to start in the morning. But if it's a cold night and you want to keep your engine kind of warm so it's easier to turn over in the morning, the APU actually runs warm fluids or uh, it circulates the fluids in your engine to keep it warm enough so that it doesn't freeze solid. It's actually pretty cool. It's just really expensive. And it runs off diesel fuel and it burns a lot less fuel than having this truck idling all night. And it's also cheaper to fix. I mean, it's expensive, yeah, but I mean, this engine, to rebuild this engine is like $35,000. To rebuild a... Uh, that guy just slid right into me. Calm down, buddy. It's icy out here. Jeez. You're flying into the parking lot here and just slid right into me, right in front of me right here. Crazy people. First time driving in Canada? Probably. They just gave you a license as soon as you got here, right? Anyways, uh... So yeah, these APU units are very, very handy. So my next truck, I'm gonna get that, my next one. Kenworth W900, studio sleeper. Let me get back out there, I got my coffee here, so I am happy. I'm a happy trucker. Got my coffee. Oh, now this guy's pulling in here, right? When I'm, this is the exit, people. Everybody comes in this way. Okay, well he's gonna give me a room, all right. The entrance is actually over to our right, but admittedly, I don't always use that either. And it doesn't, it's actually not even labeled, so I'm probably wrong. Probably wrong. Don't listen to me. Let's get out here and hit the road, Jack. I don't know who Jack is. I don't know if I even know any Jacks. Do I know any Jacks? I know a Jake, I have an uncle Jake. My grandpa's name. Well, my grandpa likes, I mean, my grandpa likes to go to a restaurant called Uncle Jake's, but it's not my Uncle Jake's restaurant, but I have an Uncle Jake. In 100 meters, take the entrance to the left on Highway 2 North. All right, off we go. Oh, that is so nice. Such a smooth ride. Oh, <laughs> there's no feeling like getting rid of a bad tire. So nice. This is Highway 2. It takes you from Calgary to Edmonton. Apparently it's only minus 5 outside. Continue on this road for 95 kilometers. Feels more like minus 50. It's 
cold. In 500 meters, turn right on. 26230. Oh, calm down, Karen. You're still yelling at me. Quiet. All day already. We're here at the Petro Pass in Atchison, just west of the city of Edmonton. Uh, we're going to stay the night here. We've got to pick up in the northwest corner of Edmonton tomorrow. In 300 meters, turn right on 26230, Township Road 531A, and then turn right into 170 meters. Oh, you're chatty today. All right, judging by how everyone's parked all over the place again, doesn't look like there will be a parking spot for me. We're just going to do a quick loop around the lot. And if there is none, then uh, I don't know, maybe I'll come park in front of this guy off on the right. I don't know. I mean, it can always go across the street to Husky yet. They need more truck stops in the Edmonton area. You guys agree with me? You guys that come out here often? I agree with me. More truck stops. And there's so many dropped trailers. Holy. Just from looking off to my left here, just off camera. Why is there so many dropped trailers? That's so rude. So people like me need these spots. And there's bobtails taking up two spots here too. I should back in behind them. I really should. <laughs> Look at these. Two of the best spots in the parking lot. Bobtail. They could have parked one behind the other. No! They take up two spots. All these gravel trucks. They're not even sleeping in their trucks. They just parked these trucks here overnight. All the frustrations of finding parking. So many people are just so selfish and rude. Drop trailers, bobtails. Another drop trailer over there. No, there's no space here for us. Wow. Wow, this is packed again, like really packed. Well, no room for us at the end of the Petro Pass, so we're gonna try our luck here at Husky. See what we can find here. Actually, you know, it's Esso now. I don't know what it is, it's Esso Husky, because the pumps now say Esso, the sign says Esso, but above the door right there in front of us now, says Husky. Oh, oh. Let's see what we can find. This guy's in the pumps backwards. For no good reason, it's not for DEF either, it's just because he's in here backwards. Good for him. Let's see. You think I'll find any park in here? You think there'll be anything for Trucker Josh? What's this guy doing just parked here? Blocking everybody in. Is he waiting for the pumps, maybe? They're going in the pumps the wrong way, bud. Okay, some parking spots there, parking spots there. There's usually some kind of park in here. Uh, this guy off to the left blocked everybody in in the back here, so even if there's a spot there I can't get in there. I'll have to back in from the other side. Wow, what a mess. This, these parking lots. Nobody seems to know how to park. But at least I can see some open spots here, so I'm just going to see if I can find a good one. And then I'll talk to you guys when we're done. Well everybody, thanks for keeping up with me today. Thanks for watching. We got a brand new steer tire for almost the same price that I paid for a half used one. It was a good day. I'm trying to get my bunk heater up and running here again. Just testing it out, but it doesn't seem to be working. The fan starts, the fuel pump starts, but it doesn't seem to be burning. It's too bad. I'll have to get that looked at as soon as I can. I'll talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe. A new video is coming tomorrow. A little bonus footage. I got it working. It's blowing hot air right now. Like really hot. Just the way it's supposed to. But why wasn't it working before then? I don't know. That's really weird. Yeah, it's working really well right now. Let's turn it down a little bit. It's getting hot in here. Let's 
See, that's the heater down there, the Vasto heater. Hmm. Apparently it still works. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to fiddle around with it a little bit more. To be continued.